Are you live? Yes, I'm live. Do you know? Because it says yes. live. Live. <laughs> Why is your finger going the wrong way? <sighs> Do you like our little hearts? <laughs> This is oh, for all nice. of our friends if for Valentine's Day. The there you go. Uh, we're back on our cooking show. Oh, that was Bon fun. Appetit by Donna Britton Bukovitz and Ross Ornstein from our movie Turnover. Are any of our Turnover friends watching us? No, hanging out with us? Somebody's no one. It's Valentine's Day. Why would anyone be spending their time with us? Exactly. Wait a minute. Let me turn this. So on. I'm going to see if I can take the Valentines off my head. I put them on my head. I think it's this little thing right here that allows me to put them off, put them on. Oh, <laughs> oh but hey, what do you guys think of this one? Are you ready for this one? We were thinking this would be fun. <laughs> I'm I know. I'm afraid of clowns. There clowns are gone. the clowns. <laughs> so much for my... Whatever. So what do we do? <laughs> We're making salad. Hi, Hillary. Hello, Hillary. <laughs> Hi, Dion. I know you're there with Hillary. So you guys, we're making this super delish avocado tuna salad or tuna avocado salad. Um, so... Our avocado and tuna salad. Happy Valentine's Day, Hillary. Yeah. We were, we were practicing with our little hearts and stuff. Did you guys see them? Did you like our clown face? I feel like I have a hair on my face. Hmm? Quit using it as a selfie camera. <laughs> Jesus. Hi, Debbie Perez. Okay, back to what we're making. Tuna, tuna, avocado salad. You'll need a lemon and some red onion. And we use this amazing... Oil, oh, this stuff is so good. Cilantro. And a spoon. Roasted onion. A spoon. Yeah, we have a spoon. And ah, tip of the cilantro. Ah! <laughs> Hi, Chanel. She's like, happy, oh she's like, happy Valentine's Day, lovebirds. What but about first, you, lovebirds? You and Mike. Hi. I think it's called But Wait. But wait, it's wine time. It is wine time because this show is... Wine, food, and fun. With Lynn and Mark. That's us. That's <laughs> Dawn's with us. Howdy, Dawn. And there's the butter wine. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. So. I'm glad I, somebody's <coughs> spending Valentine's with us. We did a bunch of, like, stuff, like, editing and. Um, really boring stuff. Yeah, just boring stuff. Stuff that we're okay. really having a tough time getting into. <laughs> Where's my wine? You're whining enough as it is. I'm whining. To all those. On hey, this. Chanel's cooking dinner too. Her own right. mic. What are you guys having? Oh, for all of you guys, yes, Debbie, butter wine. Everybody put what you're having for dinner in the comments. Even if you've already had dinner or if you're going to have dinner after. Now, this is a very important oh, yeah. public to service you. announcement. To you. Public. What? PSA? Yeah, PSA. <laughs> because it's VD day, make sure that you get your penicillin. Mark. What? Go play with your knife. <laughs> Here. All right, what are we doing? First thing we're doing is we're taking our tuna, opening it up. You're going to need the can opener, which I put away. Where? Ooh, barbecue chicken legs. Ooh, barbecue. That's what Chanel and Mike are having for All their right. dinner. Their Valentine's so, dinner. Some idiot on Reddit, I don't know who the heck Oh, is. don't even do that. They, they said to hold the, the can over like this. Don't yeah, listen. That'll destroy the can. It does. I don't know why Mark did that. Because some idiot on Reddit said to do it. I didn't even know you were on Reddit. I'm not. He's barely on Facebook. I'm not even on that either. <laughs> so, the point is, I'm trying not to... Oh, Debbie is having steak and shrimp. That sounds really yummy. <laughs> Anyway, how are you doing with that tuna can, Mark? Uh oh. You know the cats are going to be out here again. They, they will. I had to feed him tuna earlier so that. Uncle. Yeah, so Mark, when you are ready. I'm ready. I'm trying to do a little bit. 
No, you gotta hold the top and then press it in. Yeah, now I and and now let get all that tuna get all the juice out. We're not gonna save it for nope. like the no. cats. On the cats have juice. <laughs> Shiles like, is that tuna from Subway? No, it's not their awful no, tuna. No, it's not horse. It's tuna. <laughs> get it out. All the juice. Okay, that's probably pretty good. <laughs> so the important thing about this little salad is not to cut your finger trying to get definitely it. don't cut your finger but also um sort of chop that tuna up a little bit flake it up and put it in the bowl flake it up, flake it up mark flake up, up flake it up flake it up here over here in the bowl okay. flake it up and stick it in the bowl well do you want me to flake it or put it in the bowl it's the same you're being annoying show everyone what you're doing i'm and the difference between this tuna and the cat tuna <laughs> is a lot. <laughs> this is the premium albacore tuna, so it's actually chunky. When you get the cat tuna, which is the really cheap stuff, it's not chunky at all. No. You can just dump the whole thing in. Well, I'm flake it. flaking it. You're taking a long time. I'll flake you. <laughs> <gasps> meanwhile, meanwhile... I'm going to start some bread that we're going to be having with this. This is going to be a very light dinner because we've been um, eating really bad, really heavy food, and we're getting fat. So we're on it has a diet. It has nothing to do with the food. It's the drinking. <laughs> Whatever. Drinking, eating. Anyway, and yes, Chanel, it's super windy in Long Beach. How's that tuna coming? It's coming. Hey, Charlie, you in there? All right. Okay, so if you even recognize that you're too old <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go now what? Has uh, too many hands like now take your onion and cut about a quarter of that onion off that's it that's good well you that's said to flake it i know that's good do i have to use the f no. on you again? that's that's good Hi, Hi, James. James Hi. is over with Dawn. Hey, James. Hi, James. So, yeah, take the uh, onion, and we're, we want to cut the onion in very, very thin slices. We learned this from Chef John, one of our favorite people, that if you chop onions, if you, like, just cut them in pieces, then they taste more yeah. pungent. That? They're more pungent. Yeah. But if you... Slice them in super thin slices. Super thin. And try not to get the middle. Yeah. Just, you know, get the edge. Get the edge right there. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then they're actually tastier. Which we like tasty red onions, not pungent. You, you don't want onions. the onion overpowering. This. Yeah. For sure. No overpowering onions. I'm trying my... Ooh. How much onion do you want? Um, I usually would do about a little bit more. This is a big can of tuna too. So I think that we can do a little bit more than that. I do, yeah, just stay away from, no, don't, I, cut, don't cut your finger off. I'm pulling the, the center side. Oh, okay. Mark is doing a really good job on the onion. He's really- A little bit of fingernail in there. He's being really careful right now. Yeah, I'm not like one of those sushi chefs that, you know, can sit there and just... Oh, and look at look at who's here. We have cats roaming the kitchen. It's like the tundra. <laughs> anyway, Oops. so there's that. Oh, Angela's here. Happy Valentine's Day to you too, Angela. What'd you do, Mark? What'd you drop? The onions. Oh, okay. So that's enough onion. Now throw... No, those, like... Lightly sliced. Yeah, yeah. Put them, slice them in half, and then put them in the bowl. Half again. Sure. Chop them up a little bit. I'm not chopping. I'm slicing. Slice. There's if you slice difference. at an angle, it makes an even, even more of a difference. I'm teasing. <laughs> I can't believe you believe me. Uh, you don't have to do that much. So, don't you need some more wine? So, Angela, what are you having for dinner? There's the other one. Where? They were both over there. We want to know what everyone's having for dinner, so tell us. 
Mm-mm. What are you doing now? I'm slicing the onions. Oh, so once you're done with that, then toss them in over the tuna. I wonder if I'm getting that. Okay, so we're getting ready to toss them in. <laughs> See what I have to put up with? Oh my gosh, Mark. I am, I am tossing. Okay, now it's time to cut up your avocado. Oops, I'm cilantro's attacking me. <laughs> more wine, please. Yes. Are you going to have more wine? I need more wine. You probably should put the knife down first. <laughs> wine for everyone. Thanks for joining us. Happy Valentine's wine Day to you. not. Okay. I don't think you're doing it right. Here, you hold this and I'll cut the avocado. I got the avocado. I'm afraid he's going to cut his hand off. He was okay. making it look... Wait, what do you do with that? That was pretty handy, Mark. Nice job. Now what? Now you make slices in it. This and is you're going to cube it. You're going to cube it. You're not doing it right. No, you want big slices. Do you want me to show you how? It should like one, two, three cuts. All right, is this between the, the Cubans or the Pinkos? Never mind, it's an inside joke. I don't even know what he's talking about. You said Cuban. <sighs> how many Cubits? Now you gotta cut it the other how way. How many Cubits? Okay, here, he's not doing it right, so you go like this. Can <sighs> you make little cubes? And then you just take your spoon and you spoon it out into. Okay, you're not allowed to have the knife because you almost stabbed me. <laughs> Almost stab you. Yes, you did. <laughs> I know it's Sue's. Hey, Atsuya. Atsuya's watching from Japan. And trust me, I am not a Japanese sushi chef. Not even close. I can't even say that because it doesn't come out right. <laughs> Can you guys see that? It looks so yummy. It really does look yummy. This is the best salad. And it's actually healthy for you. Angela's like, we copped out on cooking tonight and picked up some lentil soup. Oh, that sounds really delish. How long do you <laughs> get to rent it for? So Chanel's like, don't drop the knife on your foot. You mean like you did, Chanel? That was not pretty. How long were you in the hospital and recovery? Rehab. Rehab. Anyway, see, that looks really was nice. Was that for the knife? Yeah, drop it on her foot. Now, Mark, that's enough. So here, now we want to chop up the cilantro. Mark, yes, chop yes. up the cilantro. Yes, dear. This is gonna go really fast. This is one of those nights where we're a little bit hungry. No, we're not. <laughs> you know, I can't even believe that. Chanel's foot bill was $20,000 when she dropped her knife on her foot. That's so insane. She used plastic knives. <laughs> okay. Cilantro. How much cilantro? How many people here like cilantro? Some I, people really don't like cilantro. Uh, no, chop up the bunch that we have there because there's not very much and then throw the rest away. Yeah. So. Okay, first I'm gonna like, get rid wash of the. It. Okay, wash the cilantro, Mark. I don't know why you have to wash it. Because there was bugs in it. Oh, ew. <laughs> Protein. Okay. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> so I was like, now you tell me plastic knives. <laughs> we didn't know it was going to be a problem. Should have read the book or read the yeah, script. Cut that off. Yeah. You put that in No. There. No. <laughs> At least Angela likes cilantro. Yeah, it's one of those, you either like it or you don't. We love it. Chop it up. Chop it up fine. Oh my gosh. You know what? He's going to start doing the camera from now on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I could have been ready by now. <clears throat> yes. And then the show would be over and nobody would have any fun. Who's having fun? Is Wine. anyone having fun? <laughs> A oh. toast. A toast. Happy Valentine's Day. Where's Lenora telling us to drink, drink, drink? Take a drink. Wait. Reminding us to drink. Can you get your hands out of the cilantro? Sure. 
and your sleeves. Okay, so now that we have it all chopped up, or it's not chopped up. <laughs> Mark has it chopped up. Take this. Oh, that one's yellow. Take that one out. And you so came <laughs> oh so close to a new manicure. Okay, put the cilantro in the salad. And the proper technique is, I don't know what, I guess that's the proper technique. <laughs> He's taking too long. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do about it. It's staying lighter out. See, see everybody? It was like, wasn't this light before? Anyway. See, that's the problem with women. It's either <laughs> it takes too long or it's too short. There's not a problem with women. There's a problem with men. Okay, now, now you need your lemon squisher. Get the lemon yeah, squisher, yeah. Mark. Lemon squisher. Because you're going to squish your lemon juice into the salad. This makes it between the cilantro. Oh, I have cilantro on my hand. Um, between the cilantro and the lemon and the olive oil. Oh, my gosh. It has the most amazing taste. You so. have to run down to the garage and get the lemon no, squisher. No, no. It's in there. It's right there in your hand. Oh. I was gonna get the 16 pound hammer to squish the lemons. Oh, this is gonna be a big one. It's a juicy one. That's a juicy one. Ready? Squish it in there. Don't squish me. Yeah, that looks good. Yummy, look at that. That's a nice juicy lemon. You want the other half too? Yeah, put the other one in. Because this is twice as much as we normally make. Normally, Mark and I have this for like a little side salad with something else that we're having. Or we have it for lunch. It's a really tasty lunch. Or when we get the munchies at 11 o'clock. In the night. middle of the night and we want to be a little bit more healthy. We're watching one of those shows that you're binging. All right, lemon's in there. Lemon's in. Now, we just have about two tablespoons left of our fancy oil from Marisolo Wine Tasting Bar in Murphy's. Which so we're going to, oh my God, you, if you haven't got any olive oil from there, it can is. you open it? Yes, dear. And just pour that in there. It oh, is the yeah. best olive oil. Pour it all over. Now, do you want me to add a little swig of our green chili? No. Wow. Oh. We're gonna, oh, that stuff is so good. It's spicy. We like spicy. Put some salt and pepper in. This is what I have to put up with. How much salt and pepper do you want? Just, you know, like about eight shakes. Seriously, what are you doing? I'm shaking the, the salt. You said eight shakes. Oh my God, I can't even handle it. <laughs> Tivoli's and Pacific Palisades made that tuna dish back in the 90s. I got it for lunch about every day. That was Chanel. How do you open that? Oh. Oops. <laughs> One, two, three. Is that a shake? You don't have to count. How many was that? That's enough. Put a little pepper now. How much pepper? Is that open the same way? Mm-hmm. All right. This is the worst pepper thing. Though this Wait. grinder, I swear, it's just awful. It's the worst pepper grinder. I have to like do about 50 grinds to even get any in. I hate these pre-grinders. All right. All righty. Now you just stir it up, Mark. Stir up the salad. Yes. Toss it together. Oh, you so came so close to wearing this on the ceiling. And you don't want to squish your avocado. I kind of think we should have put another avocado in because we have such a big yeah, thing of tuna. Plenty of avocado in there. All right, so now we're going to dish it up and we're going to be ready to eat. How about you guys? Almost. Here. Mark's going to go cut some of the bread that we have over there. I'll take care of dishing up this tuna dish. No. We make what's 
Okay, fine. The funky thing. I will do this. I'm putting the camera back so everyone can see. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? I said, I thought you weren't doing that. Huh? I thought you weren't doing that. Yeah. <sighs> what are you doing, Mark? I'm getting a drink. I need <laughs> one after this. Of course. Isn't that a great shot of me? <laughs> So the, ridiculous. I think the camera person is trying to say something. Oh my gosh. I nearly, I need a, here, excuse me, pardon me. Whoop. <laughs> Where's my serving thing? Okay. So now that we have this done, we can serve it up in a couple of little bowls. We have our bread that we're making. We're okay, ready to so put what, some olive did, oil on the side. What we did with the bread is we got a, like a French baguette and cut them into little sure. slivers. If I do that, they'll end up on the thing. And then we're going to chop these into little bite-sized cubes. And then we're going to get some olive oil. Oh, we're ready to eat. Just like that. Who's ready to eat with us? <laughs> Debbie's like, make me a plate. It's I can't wait for the time that we can all get together again and we can actually make plates of food and visit with everyone. Hi, Roberta. Did you see our little tuna avocado salad? It's so yummy. Can so, you get me a bowl for the bread? Sure. Bread bowl. Uh, I can't reach it. Oh. Sucks being short. All right, here. I could say something to that. <laughs> anyway. It's been working so, for you for me. Here, we're going to finish off our bottle of wine with our yummy little tuna avocado now, salad. Now, normally we would be upstairs watching the great British baking show. But we, we finished already watched it. it. It's over. We don't have anything else to watch. What about you guys? What are you watching? What's, keep, what's keeping you entertained these days? What was that one we started? Um, no, we finished. We're doing some research for Halloween. I know, butter wine is my favorite too, Sean Al. Um, we're, doing, for we're doing research for our Halloween Obsessed show, so we're watching a lot of uh, documentaries. So here it is. Our no, bread. Not, not yet, and not our full. Not oh, jeez. We could already be eating. American Idol. <laughs> oh, let me try it. Let me do that really yummy. You want the green chili. Green chili. I want the wild mushroom. So we have a bunch of different. Yeah, we're big fans of the olive oil joint. So we've now put the wine. Just a little bit. <laughs> We're using our wine toppers because... And they work really well. They do work really well. And they're just too annoying right now during the pandemic to have these on our wine. <laughs> My yeah, these are the one shot deal. Somebody just said something. Oh, someone said something? Chanel. Oh, the mushroom one is super good. It's my favorite. And uh, Tuscan herb. Tuscan herb. Yeah. That's it. We're ready. A little balsamic. Where's Mark, my... come over here. You gotta make the plate come like you did here. for the picture. No, they have the picture, have your wine. Now this is white jalapeno balsamic. Mm -hmm. And that is especially tasty, especially tasty. This works really good on salads, just yeah. by themselves. So what he wants me to do is, he wants me to show it like I'm actually serving it. Like at a restaurant. Right. So when I lift it up like this and I show you guys, it's going to go no. flying. See how Here. nice that looks? Wait, 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 wait. Right there like that. See? It looks nice. Okay, with that, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Mark, what are you doing to the camera? I'm He's making... screwing it up. Make anyway. sure you get your penicillin shots for VD Day. <laughs> Have and a great that, night. Have a great night. See you next week. You're... Oh, sorry. <laughs> See you next week. Oh. My hair's nice. Bye, everyone. Bye.